when the pandemic started, it probably started at the worst possible time it could happen, at least for me, because it happened right before I graduated high school. I had like a month left in school and, you know, school closed because of the pandemic. And then we had to do all our work online. You know, I passed. And I got my diploma and everything. But, you know, being the last kid in my family to graduate, my whole family was looking forward to walk, seeing me walk the stage. And, uh, well, I didn't get to do that. I, I didn't get to walk the stage, and there was no ceremony or anything because all that got canceled. So that kind of sucked. And uh, but you know, I, I still got my diploma, and I got. I guess I had. I got to have a little bit of a mini ceremony with my family at my house. But I mean, you know, it's not the same thing as going to the real thing and walking the stage and all that with your friends and all that kind of stuff. So that was really unfortunate, but. Um, after I graduated high school, one of the first things I wanted to do was get a driver's license. So I was like, okay. So, you know, I started go looking at the DMV and tr getting ready to set up an appointment. And the DMV closed because of the pandemic. And, you know, I was like, okay, well, that's great. I'm going to have to wait, like, maybe a couple weeks or maybe even a month. And it ended up actually being about a month till the DMV opened back up. But when it opened back up, everyone made all these appointments. And it was just, they were just loaded with appointments. And... They didn't have, they didn't have room for any new appointments. So I had to wait for them to have room for new appointments. So that was like another month of waiting, and then all of a sudden my dad uh, pulled up my family downstairs and he said that um, his company that he works at, which is a co company called Cisco, it's like a food service company. Um, because of the lockdowns and you know the pandemic, they were losing so much money. That, uh, that their facility had to close. And they told my dad that he can either quit and go find another job, which would be really hard because it's hard to find another job that paid as much as his current one. Uh, to find something like that somewhere else in Stockton would be like pretty rare. And we, I don't even know if it existed, to be honest. So we had a decision, which was we could stay and try to find a new job but it might not work and we might lose the house or we can move to Washington State where they would promote him and he would go work at their newer facility and um, you know he we would start a new life there but the thing that sucked is that we would leave all our family all our friends and we'd literally be restarting from ground zero like we would we would just have nothing we'd be at the house no family no friends it would just be us and um that's what we chose to do, and we did that, uh, but, you know, it, it kind of sucked because the old house, I mean, it was the house I grew up in. Literally, I, I was practically born into it. I was, like, probably six months old when we moved into that house, and, like, you know, there's a lot of good memories there, and it was a really, you know, great place to grow up at, and, like, leaving it was kind of hard, and not just that, but leaving... Leaving your family at the same, like, because there's no family here. I mean, there's a little bit of family we have in Washington, but they're not, like, extremely close or anything. Like, all of our close family is in California. And uh, we we had to leave all of that. Um, but <clears throat> right now, I'm, I'm here at Washington, and I, I guess, uh, I mean, it seems like a really nice state. And uh, I look forward to doing... Other stuff here, hopefully I can make new friends, all that kind of stuff. Family will probably come up here and visit eventually. And we'll probably go back to California to visit family, but it's just how it is, and that's my COVID story, so...